na niendelee kukujuza aliyoibuka na kugonga vichwa vya habari kwenye taarifa hizi za KTN leo weekend. Na tukisonga mbele ni kwamba uhusiano wa kimapenzi wa jinsia moja huenda ukaharamishwa kisheria humu nchini Kenya. Mswada umewasilishwa kwenye bunge la kitaifa ambao unatoa adhabu ya kuhukumiwa kifo na kifungo cha zaidi ya miaka kumi gerezani kwa kushiriki au kuhusika kwenye mapenzi ya jinsia moja maarufu kama LGBTQ. Kenya ikijiunga na baadhi ya mataifa ambayo yameendeleza pingamizi dhidi ya LGBTQ ambayo inapigiwa upato na mataifa ya Ulaya. Takriban mwezi mmoja baada ya bunge la Kenya kupitisha hoja ya serikali kuharamisha na kupiga marufuku midahalo na usambazaji wa taarifa za usagaji na uhusiano wa jinsia moja. Mbunge wa Homa Bay mjini Peter Kaluma amewasilisha mswada bungeni wa kuharamisha kisheria vitendo na tabia hizo unaolenga kutoa adhabu kali kwa wahusika. For consensual between people who are not uh, vulnerable and who are adults we are putting a minimum imprisonment term of 10 years for non consensual homosexual uh, acts we are putting death are 24 mwezi februari mahakama ya upeo ya kenya ilitoa uamuzi wa afueni kwa jamii ya lgbtq kwa kuwaruhusu kusajili mashirika yasiyo ya serikali Uamuzi huo ambao ulisadifu ujio wa mama wa taifa wa Marekani Jill Biden ukiibua hisia kali nchini. Hii ni licha ya kuwa Kenya chini ya mamlaka ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza ina uhusiano wa karibu na Marekani. Uongozi wa Kenya ulijitokeza kupinga uamuzi huo wa mahakama na kudokeza kusimama kidete dhidi ya matendo hayo wanayosisitiza kwenda kinyume cha maadili ya Kiafrika. Hatuwezi kwenda barabara ati ya wanawake kuo wanawake wenzao ati na wanaume kuo wanaume wenzao hiyo haiwezekani katika taifa letu la Kenya jameni hata wale wanapitisha hiyo maneno na hatuna ubaya na kotini sasa mama akioa mama mwingine watabiana nini mama mtabiana nini hiyo maneno hatutaki Iyo ni mambo ya kishetani. Uamuzi wa mahakama ya upeo ukiarifu hoja iliyowasilishwa bungeni kushinikiza serikali kuharamisha uchapishaji na usambazaji wa taarifa zozote zinazofungamana na LGBTQ. Under Article 24 of the Constitution and following that strictly. If you are homosexual, lesbian, gay, you cannot register an association. And you cannot register an association bearing any of those titles. We also have to refuse recolonization. This is another bit of it. Tying this kind of behavior with donations. Let us all rise to say no. Tayari mataifa matatu ya Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki yanaendelea na mchakato wa kuharamisha tabia za usagaji na mahusiano ya jinsi ya moja. Bunge la Uganda limepitisha mswada dhidi ya LGBTQ ambalo umewasilishwa kwa Rais Yoweri Museveni ili autie saini uwe sheria. Iwapo mswada huo utaidhinishwa na Rais Museveni, wahusika watapewa adhabu ya kifungo kisichopungua miaka kumi gerezani. Mswada huo kwa sasa upo mikononi mwa Rais Yoweri Museveni ambaye amekuwa kiandamwa na viongozi wa mataifa ya kigeni wanaomshinikiza kufutilia mbali kufanya sheria. The Western countries should stop wasting the time of humanity by trying to impose their practices on other peoples aidha taifa la Ghana limependekeza adhabu sawia kwa washiriki wa LGBTQ naibu wa rais wa Marekani Kamala Harris akionekana kukashifu uamuzi huo wiki tatu zilizopita alipozuru nchi hii this is an issue that we consider and i consider to be a human rights issue and that will not change Bunge la Ghana hata hivyo limesimama kidete kwa litatekeleza wajibu wake na kupitisha mswada huo kwa sheria. This is the way to his excellency the president. There is no way he can intervene. Nchini Kenya mswada huo dhidi ya LGBTQ utawasilishwa kwa kamati ya sheria bungeni ili kutoa fursa kwa umma kutoa maoni yao. Mswada ambao umeonekana kuzileta pamoja pande zote bungeni upinzani na serikali wakionekana kuzungumza kwa sauti moja. This is a bill we are going to pass and it will become law without debate. And I can tell you that I'm very grateful the president is supportive. As you said so in public, the deputy president and the executive are supportive. But I can tell you 
even if they were not to support the legislative authority of the state is vested in parliament can I return to parliament we will still have the number to pass it because it is about our society it is not about another country jeff kirui ktnu